forward a video on how to file with your central appraisal district so that you could have your property taxes lowered as a follow-up to a video I've done in the past where I saved my family over $350,000 or something like that in taxes. And then I went to ask um, ChatGPT how I can figure this out. Um, I instead made the frivolous lawsuits agent because when I went to the website following the instructions from Perplexity, which I never would have known um, about had I not used Perplexity AI, inside of the central appraisal district, it says that they've spent $1.5 million over the last two years for each year to get these maps set up and that they got a 100% rating from the state comptroller of Texas for all these other years. And it's supposed to be able to give aerial photographs, land-based photographs, surveys, maps, and property sketches, right? Uh, identifying and updating relevant characters characteristics of each property in the appraisal records, market areas, uh, property characteristics that affect property value in each market area, including blah, blah. So I go here and look at this. This website does not work at all. I inspect the website it does it doesn't even have like a defined dojo <laughs> um and if i continue to look through the website I i'm not able to see this in any specific way so there is no way to access the maps on here i have in the past been able to see my own maps but the fact that i'm not able to use this easily led me back to this GPT agent, the frivolous lawsuits agent, which you're welcome to use. And according to this, it is a violation of the ADA because my father, who is over 85 years old and just had heart surgery and lost vision in one eye, should have the right to access these maps. I can't go there in person with him, which is their suggestion. So for over $1.5 million of our taxes in the last two years, their solution is for me to send them some kind of email and ask them for specific uh, maps of the area? Well, I can only say that I don't know which area to ask for um, because they also don't have on their website a list of which houses they used for the taxes. And uh, I also should not have to try to guess if they mean I have to come into their office to print the map or if I should email them. Um, and they don't provide me the email address, they just give me a phone number uh, I work during the day, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to call him. My dad's first language is not English. He is proficient now. But as I said, he's about to go have heart surgery again. So please use this a frivolous lawsuits agent to help yourself, help your community, and make them do their job. Really? $1.5 million over two years, and, and we still can't get a working maps section for the disabled? Come on. Thank you, AI. You really are helping me and my family. You know, my, one of my mortgages went up by about $500 per month this year, and I'm paying through the nose for our taxes, and the state comptroller said that this MAPS website was 100%, meaning it was outstanding. So who at the Texas comptroller is overseeing this work? Why is it rated at 100% for all those years, and yet, like, the year that our taxes all shot up in, in a significant way we can access one of the tools that is the best for being able to contest our taxes so i asked my frivolous lawsuits agent um if i were to file against the el paso central appraisal district in small claims court if i would automatically waive my right to then see why the texas comptroller isn't taking care of this um, and it said, no, like I am not waiving my rights. Of course, it always tells you to consult an attorney. And I do have a very good attorney that's helping me with some other real estate matters uh, in case anybody needs a real estate advisement. Uh, I highly suggest them. Uh, but, you know, this is the first step. And if I am working this hard to make sure that my tenants have a fair rent, fair place to live, and it all falls apart, in the same office that's supposed to be helping us as taxpaying citizens, then there's something wrong with that system. And I, I wanna know, like, like well, why, why did they rate it that high? And why with $1.5 million in 2023 and then $1.5 million in 2024, they can't, they can't make some maps work, really? Like, I, I'll take that contract. I can fly some drones and get some maps for us.
let me know. <laughs> For real. Unreal.